Hey guys, it is February the 4th, it's another Sunday. Um, so I have done way too much shopping. I spent all day, a good full shift of eight hours just shopping. I think I went to eight or nine different thrift stores. And so for that reason, I'm gonna have to break up this th thrift haul. Um, so I've kind of separated things into groups. Um, and I'll start off with a, just sort of an ordinary, you know, stuff you might find at a thrift store kind of haul. Um, so let's start with what's right in front of us. Uh, just post-it notes, but they were 50 cents. They got these cute little Scotty dogs on them. And uh, I can use these at work. 50 cents. I got these old-fashioned um, clothes pegs. They, well, they're not. They're 50 cents. They're not vintage by any stretch of the imagination. But I whipped up this brew of vinegar and steel wool. And I'm going to try dyeing these so that they look a little um, more vintage. And I got the idea from a Pinterest um, pin, but um, I have some critique about that pin, so I'll uh, tell you more about that later. I got uh, another wooden hanger. I love wooden hangers. This one's um, not Canadian. It's from Fort Lauderdale or Virginia Beach, the Cavalier. So I, I wonder what that dates to. I paid a quarter for that. Um, and I got these three pieces of wood that I can craft with. So this one is sort of like a board. It's marked $2, but all the red takes were half price. So all of these I only paid a dollar for. And these two look like uh, plates. So I can do some crafts with those for sure. Maybe I'll even try out my wicket soup that I made out of the uh, vinegar to see if that can stain them. Um, I was thinking back last week, I didn't do any, uh, I didn't have any transferware or cookie cutters in my haul last week. So this week for sure I have made up for it. Um, I found all of these plates, there I peeled off the price tag, and this is called Arcadia, it's a Johnson Brothers. Um, it's ironstone, so it's got the best of both worlds, transferware and ironstone. So I got, uh, oh, five or six pieces, six pieces, I guess, so a couple of bread plates, a uh, small, I don't know, luncheon plate, and two dinner plates. The other piece of transferware I got was... Uh, this one, and I do, I do have uh, some of this. It's called Westmoreland, yeah. And it's um, okay. I know you're looking at this price tag, thinking, Nancy, are you crazy paying five dollars for that? But I was at a thrift store, and I got some ridiculous good deals. Uh, I'll show you the milk glass that I got. They were pulling the, the milk glass out from under the counter where they keep all the really pricey stuff and selling it to me for pennies. They wanted me to have it. So I did pay full price on a couple of items that were a little pricey, but I sure made up for it on the milk glass. Um, I just got some of this paper shredded paper stuff for baskets or whatever. I think I paid a dime for it. Um, got this little pumpkin. I thought he was cute and I'll put him away for my my fall. I think uh, I paid two dollars for him. He's got a candle inside. Or was a candle or anyway we'll have to tidy that up and get a new candle in there for the next year. Uh, I found this vintage stapler Pay two dollars for it and I have an idea I've got a couple of really old office supplies um, that I would like to set up sort of a little uh, what do you call it a little display I guess and this piece of 
tin. I'm going to see if I can uh, age that somehow and, you know, I could, you know, put, you know what I could do with this? I could take this to work and put my milk glass that I hold my pens and pencils and paper clips with and that would kind of contain everything. That's a good idea, Nancy. All right. Um, also in the metal field, I got this enamel pie dish. It's, uh, it's in relatively good shape. Um, but that was pretty. And I got this other piece of enamelware. It's a little teacup. I paid a dollar for it, but it has the original label. So it was made in Canada. So I'm going to have to be very careful washing this that I don't take the, the label off. Um, these mugs, whenever I see these mugs with the uh, monogram on it, I always pick them up as if they're under a dollar. Um, so this one came from Home Essentials. I thought that was nice. This one is an indigo from the Chapters Bookstore. Um, has a big M on one side and a little M on the other side. Paid 99 cents for it. And these in the store are $10. So whenever I see them, I grab them and I use them to make gifts. So I'll fill them with candy and then put, um, you know, the clear cellophane basket wrap and tie it with, uh, you know, the the ribbon, the, what do you call that ribbon? The curly, the curling ribbon, that's it. So I um, often, when my new students start, I will often give them a little gift, sort of as an onboarding gift to welcome them. And uh, so far I've had really good luck finding every student's initial. Uh, I got this little piece of corning I'm not sure what it is. It doesn't have a handle on it, so maybe it's an open sugar or something. But it matches the um, <clears throat> the little cup that I got a while ago, and uh, it says a dollar, but yellow tags were seventy-five percent off, so I only paid a quarter for it. Or maybe yellow tags were seventy-five percent off, or fifty percent off. I'm not sure. It was red and yellow yesterday, anyway. I gotta show you this little alarm clock. It's an ashtray. And look, can you see his face? He's yelling, get out of bed. And I paid a dollar for that. And I think, oh, it is marked Japan. I was trying to peel off the sticker because I thought it was marked. Um, I thought that was cute. You don't to see ashtrays around very much. I think they're very much out of style. And I got these two very heavy, what would you call them, brackets? And I think they can hang on the wall. Um, they must have come from some other store because they were marked 9.95, and then I got them at Goodwill for a dollar a piece. It was 50% off everything in the store on Friday at all the Goodwills in um, Great Lakes District. Was that? I talked to myself a lot. Uh, so I thought you know this would be nice to hold some books or I'm not sure, but for a dollar. I can paint those for sure. They, I mean, the color's not bad right now, but um, maybe we'll bring a little more light down here. Maybe that's too much light. Um, the color's not bad right now, but I can freshen that up for sure. I got this sailboat to go in my bedroom that I'm decorating in a nautical theme. It's wood. It needs a little bit of a repair here where the um, the sail has come away from where the little hook and eye is. But I thought that would be really cute in the bedroom where I'm working. It was $5.99. It was worth every penny to me. And I believe the last thing right now is these two cake stands. Um, one small, bigger and one smaller. 
uh, this one was $4.99 and this one was $3.99. This is slightly smaller. And I, when I saw them stacked that way, I thought, that is perfect. So that's the first part of my haul. I'm going to clear the table and get out the next part. So we'll see you soon.